The inferior alveolar nerve block provides anesthesia to the pulps of the eight man teeth in that quadrant. The buccal soft tissues and bone anterior to the metal foramen, the anterior two thirds of the tongue and the floor of the mouth, and the lingual soft tissues and periosteum. A 25 gauge long needle is recommended. For a left inferior alveolar nerve block, the right-handed operator should sit at the 10 o'clock position facing in the same direction as the patient. For the right inferior alveolar nerve block, the right-handed operator should sit at the 8 o'clock position facing the patient. There are three criteria for determining the correct insertion site for the needle. The first is the height, the second is the anterior posterior position, and the third is the depth of penetration. A finger is placed on a lingual aspect of the ramus and pulled anteriorly until the carotenoid notch is palpated. The carotenoid notch is the greatest concavity on the anterior border of the ramus. The barrel of the syringe is placed in the corner of the mouth on the opposite side. The needle tip touches the most posterior aspect of the pterygomandibular raphe. The needle tip is then moved half the distance toward the carotenoid notch and then half the distance back toward the raphe. This locates the injection site, which is three quarters of the distance from the carotenoid notch to the raphe. The needle is then inserted and advance slowly until bone is contacted. The average depth of penetration is between 20 and 25 millimeters, which is two thirds to three quarters the length of a long dental needle. Once bone is contacted, aspirations performed twice, and if negative, 1.5 to 1.8 ml of local anesthetic is administered slowly. The buccal nerve block provides anesthesia to the soft tissue and periosteum on the buccal aspect of the mandibular molars. The injection is given immediately following the inferior alveolar nerve block. A 25 gauge long needle is recommended. The needle is withdrawn, the syringe is repositioned, and the needle reinserted in a mucobuccal fold distal to the last mandibular molar. 0.3 ml of anesthetic is administered. The Galgate's mandibular block provides pulpal anesthesia to the mandibular teeth, the buccal soft tissue and bone, the anterior two thirds of the tongue and the floor of the oral cavity, the lingual soft tissue and periosteum, as well as the skin of the zygoma, the posterior portion of the cheek and the temporal regions. A 25 gauge long needle is recommended. For the left Galgate's mandibular nerve block, the right handed operator should sit in a 10 o'clock position facing in the same direction as the patient. For a right Galgate's mandibular nerve block, the right handed operator should sit in the 8 o'clock position facing the patient. The carotenoid notch is palpated. The barrel of the syringe is placed in the corner of the mouth on the opposite side. And the needle tip is placed just below the mesial lingual cusp of the maxillary second molar. And then the needle tip is moved just distal to the second molar. This locates the insertion site for the Galgate's injection. The needle is now inserted until bone is contacted. The average depth of penetration in the Galgate's injection is approximately 25 millimeters. After negative aspiration, 1.8 ml of anesthetic is slowly administered. Following withdrawal of the syringe, the patient is asked to keep their mouth open for two minutes. The Vazirani Akinosi closed mouth mandibular nerve block provides anesthesia to the eight mandibular teeth, the buccal soft tissue and bone anterior to the metal foramen, the anterior two-thirds of the tongue and the floor of the oral cavity, and the lingual soft tissues and periosteum. A 25-gauge long needle is recommended. For the right or left Vazirani Akinosi nerve block, 
The right-handed operator should sit at the 8 o'clock position facing the patient. The needle is inserted into the soft tissue on the lingual aspect of the mandibular ramus adjacent to the mucogingival junction of the last maxillary molar. With the bevel facing away from bone, the syringe is inserted 25 millimeters. Following negative aspiration, 1.5 to 1.8 ml of anesthetic is slowly injected and the syringe withdrawn. The incisive nerve block provides pulpal anesthesia to the five mandibular anterior teeth, the incisors, canine, and two premolars. The buccal soft tissue and bone anterior to the metal foramen, and the skin of the lower lip and the chin. A 27 gauge short needle is recommended. For the right or left incisive nerve block, the barrel of the syringe is kept below the patient's line of sight and the needle inserted into the buccal fold adjacent to the first premolar and then advanced until the needle tip lies outside the mental foramen. Following two negative aspirations, one third of a cartridge of anesthetic is deposited over 20 seconds. The syringe is removed and pressure is applied extraorally or intraorally, forcing local anesthetic into the metal foramen, blocking the incisive nerve. Subscribe to your dental guru ji ko. Dabai ye bell icon or dekhiye hamari videos sabse pehle or ye 100% free.